Infantino says World Cup will be health benchmark. Nick Potts via www.amago-images.de FIFA President Johnny Infantino said Thursday this year's World Cup finals in Qatar will become a benchmark for holding future global sporting events. During a health crisis, Qatari organizers, who will have thousands of extra medical staff on duty for the 32-nation event starting November 21st, said they are cautiously optimistic it will be the first mass gathering of sports fans for a global sports event since the coronavirus pandemic erupted two years ago. Spectators were largely kept out of last year's Tokyo Olympics and the ongoing Winter Olympics in China. FIFA announced this week that requests have been made for 17 million tickets for the first World Cup in the Arab region and sought to reassure fans about safety measures during an online health conference organized by the Qatar authorities. Medical officials told the conference there would be 90 medical points and 10 ambulances at each game. Abdul Wahab al Musla, one of the top medical organizers for the event, said there would be 3,000 medical staff just for the tournament on top of the Gulf. States hospitals and clinics, medical checkpoints and paramedics will also be deployed at the main fan zone which will be able to hold up to 80,000 people. Qatar has predicted that 1.2 million people will visit during the tournament. Football has a duty to make sure this is not only the best World Cup ever but also the healthiest World Cup, Infantino said in a recorded statement for the he added that the health and security standards will be a benchmark for future sporting events of this scale. The same message was given by World Health Organization Director General Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus who highlighted the unique challenges faced by organizers. Because of the pandemic, the WHO has been working with Qatar on health security, infectious diseases and food safety during the World Cup. The lessons learned from Qatar's experience in this World Cup will help us all in designing health and safety measures for other large-scale events. Tedros added, Neither FIFA nor the Qatar organizers, who have spent billions of dollars preparing for the event, have said what would happen if a new coronavirus wave threatens the event. But Hassan al-Thawadi, secretary-general of the government's Supreme Committee for Delivery and Legacy, said, While the pandemic is still very much here, with this, we can now see real light at the end of the tunnel. In our eyes, the pandemic has given Qatar 2022 a new significance. Our World Cup may well be the first time that the world can properly come together to celebrate its passion for football. We are cautiously optimistic that we may be the country that hosts the first true gathering of global fans since the start of the crisis, added Thawadi.